Hello viewers, this is Jared from JRod Production Studios and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about what really built the channel in the early days when I started this back in like 2017 and that is LEGO Clone Troopers. Everyone's favorite, most of the people who watch these videos really like the Clone Wars era so I figured why not make a video kind of going back to those a little bit. And for today specifically I want to talk about the most expensive Clone Troopers I own. I was scrolling through BrickLink and I noticed just how valuable some of the clones have gotten the last couple years here. So for that reason I want to just count down the top 10 most expensive clone troopers that I own personally. Go ahead and let me know what rare clones you have. Be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. I greatly appreciate that. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here is the first clone trooper, and this is the phase two clone trooper that came out in 2014. This is the only plain phase two clone trooper without the cutout helmet from like 2005 and 2007. Um, this figure goes for right around $15. So this breaks the top 10 just barely. It goes for about 15 used and then about 20 if you can find it in new condition. And the reason why just a plain phase two clone is so valuable is it only came out in one single set that was a $10 micro fighter. Again, back in 2014, you can see it has a simple back printing, not really any leg printing except on the front and then just a plain phase two helmet. And then it just has an angry clone face as well, just the, the standard for the time. But yeah, why this clone is worth so much, I don't really know, but honestly, it's just one that if you got to have in mass numbers, that's really cool and uh, definitely one they need to make in either a new form or re-release in new sets. All right, and the next one here, the number nine spot, not gonna lie, I'm gonna have to cheat a little bit on this. I actually have a few figures that are gonna all come in at number nine here because they're close enough in price and they're also close enough in looks. I think they will all be fine here. Starting off, we have the blue clone lieutenant and this goes for also about 15 years or 20 brand new. This only came out in one set. It came out in the 2015 Hellfire Droid and it also came out in a poly bag. Uh, the year, uh, a couple years before that in 2013, uh, obviously didn't have the uh, printed legs in there as well. These all have the angry clone face and just the standard arm printing on the back there and uh, just a very rather basic phase two clone. All right, and up next we have the clone commander, the phase one clone commander. And this one came out in uh, 2013 in the ATTE, the only set this one came in. Now this one goes for right about $25 and maybe upwards of 30 according to BrickLink if you find it brand new. So this is a pretty expensive clone. I don't know why. This one is not necessarily my favorite, but I do understand it came in only an $80 set. And if you really wanted this one, I guess you would pay that for it if you didn't happen to buy an $80 set to get it in. So just the fact that it was in such an expensive set is what makes this one as expensive as it is. All right, and the last one we have here at the number nine spot, again, these are all kind of similar, but this is the clone captain now. This is the uh, red figure. This came out in the Republic gunship also in 2013. This is kind of when they redid all of their plain phase one clone troopers and the obviously the uh, officers as well that year. And this one goes for right about $30 used and about 35 if you can find it in new condition. Standard printing on this one all around and again, just the angry clone head on there. But yeah, this one is just a, a really cool uh, looking figure in my opinion. I think they nailed the color on this one. Obviously these don't have leg printing. The 2013 was kind of the era where they didn't quite put leg printing on all their figures, but I still think it looks really good. And rumor has it, this is actually one of the clones coming out in the Republic gunship this year. So we'll see if that actually comes out to be true. Uh, still yet to be seen. But yeah, really cool figure. And if you have this one, you're definitely lucky. All right, and at the number eight spot here, this is one of my personal favorites. This is the Wolfpack Clone Trooper. This is the phase one version, of course. Now this one came out in the 2011 Republic Frigate along with Commander Wolf. We'll take a look at him in a little bit, of course. Now this figure uh, goes for about $45. If you can find it new on eBay, of course, BrickLink is usually a little bit cheaper. So this one ends up being around 35 on BrickLink. But yeah, really cool figure all around. This obviously coming from sort of the height of the Clone Wars era. It did come with a backpack or at least a jetpack, should I say. And it's got really cool printing. Obviously it's got unique printing there. This is an exclusive. So the legs didn't come out in any other set making this figure as valuable as it is. Just the helmet, the torso, the legs are all unique pieces. And then the head is just the plain kind of scary looking Clone Wars era head at just the oversized eyes, but you know, 
It's kind of concealed under the helmet anyways, doesn't really matter. Yeah, one of my favorite figures, obviously you can attach all the little helmet accessories to this one. So definitely a popular figure and uh, one that's definitely hard to find. All right, and coming in at number seven, this one stays right around the $35 to $40 range. This is a really rare figure because it also came in one set, but in particular, it came in a set that came out 15 years ago. This came out in the 2005 uh, Wookie Catamaran set. So this one, obviously not a whole lot of people were into Lego back then. So this one is the older style with the phase two cutout visor that you see here. It's the only 442nd Siege Battalion clone we've ever gotten in Lego, which makes this one especially unique. And then the printing all around is also pretty cool for the time because they did include back printing on this one. There's just a little bit of green on there. But yeah, underneath the helmet, there's nothing to show because it is just all black in order to make the visor look like it's actually a black visor, of course. And uh, it actually didn't come with this blaster either. This is before this clone blaster had existed at this point in Lego. But a really cool figure, uh, one that was not worth 40-ish dollars a while ago, but it just really shot up in price recently. Um, really cool figure. I think this is one that is, again, valuable just because they've only made one version of it and then it also just came out such a long time ago. At the number six spot here, we have the re-released version of the Shock Trooper. So the original Shock Trooper, of course, came out in the ATAP and then the uh, 7655, the clone battle pack there as well with the cutout visor. This was LEGO's take on the Clone Wars version. Of course, this came out with the Coruscant Police gunship in 2014. Really cool figure. Now this one runs about $45. I've seen this go as high as about $55 on eBay. Bricklink hovers right around $45. This does also have the original Clone Wars head too, kind of the last year we got those Clone Wars heads underneath. Cool printing all around on this one on the back. As you can see, there's just a little bit of back printing as well, but yeah, the leg printing just only on the front there. Just a cool figure, the Clone Wars version. Not really sure why this one is so expensive. It's never been particularly my favorite, but again, this one also only came out in one set. All right, and number five here, we have the phase two version of the Wolfpack Clone Trooper. So we showed you the phase one version, but this one is worth even more for whatever reason. Now this only came out with the AV-7 anti-vehicle cannon from 2014. There's just a lot of valuable figures from this age. Now this one goes for about also $45 on Bricklink, but I have sold one of these for almost $60 on eBay. People just really like this figure. I don't understand why it's more popular, should I say, than the, uh, than the phase one version from the frigate because you got two at the AV-7 cannon that was also a cheaper set. But I would figure that the it being a phase two clone has something to do with it. People just like the phase two clones more. Not anything particularly special about this one other than it's just the Clone Wars era and kind of the last year that they made these style of figures. But cool figure, definitely a valuable one and uh, one that a lot of people could probably cash in quite well if they have that original AV-7 cannon. All right, and at number four, we have the phase one Captain Rex. Now this is a cool figure because uh, it obviously is probably the most popular clone trooper. Captain Rex is just all around extremely popular. Of course, you can probably expect to see the phase two version later in this video. Now they released a couple iterations of this. This came out in a few different sets. Uh, this one in particular, I got from the 2008 ATTE. Now this one goes for around $50 as well on Bricklink, which is actually a little bit more expensive than eBay for once on eBay. You can probably find these around $30, but Clone Wars Season 7 definitely has something to do with this one's extreme price right now, because usually it would only go for about $20, because it's a little bit more common of a figure out of all of these. Came in a few different sets, but yeah, it's definitely cool. It has the Phase 1 clone style from the Clone Wars. It's also got all the little armor additions you can add on with the visor, the blast camo, and then uh, the rangefinder and stuff. So very cool. He has uh, kind of unique pistols too as well. These only came out with the clone commanders from this era. So cool figure. I actually have a couple of these. I definitely want to hold on to them, seeing that they're as valuable as they are. And yeah, this might be a cheaper way for people to get Captain Rex if they've really been wanting one of these. All right, and here at number three, we have Commander Fox. Now this one retails for a lot more than what the original set sold for. This came with the Spider Droid from 2008. Now this figure, according to Bricklink, I did not know this. So this one goes for around $55, which is absolutely insane to me because I think I only paid like four or five dollars for this fig a few years ago. But as you can see, it has just some of the other armor additions. It's got really cool coloring as well. This isn't everyone's favorite clone trooper from the series, of course, he was a little bit of the cause of some of the bad things to happen in season six or whatever, but 
Yeah, I really like the color on this one. The visor here actually did not come with it. I actually just added that on because it looks better. It came with a gray one originally. But definitely a cool figure, $55 is gonna be on the high end for a lot of people. I think you could find this one for a little bit cheap. All right, and here at number two, this is my personal favorite Lego clone ever made. This is the Commander Wolf that we mentioned earlier. This came in the 2011 Republic Frigate. Really popular figure here because this is the only Commander Wolf ever released. This is of course the phase one version. It goes for about 50 used and about 60 US dollars if you can find it in new condition. I've seen it sell for higher. Of course, if you really want this one, your best bet might to be to buy it in conjunction with the Phase 1 Wolf Pack that came with it. But yeah, cool figure. It comes with the black armor pieces, of course, and then the back printing is pretty much the same as the Phase 1 Wolf Pack. The torso and the uh, legs are both the same. This one also has a unique eye piece here. The, the head piece shows where the eye was cut out from Asajj Ventress, which is a cool addition on this one. Uh, that also helps skyrocket the price on this a little bit. But yeah, very few people have this one. Again, it came in a 120-ish dollar set. So this makes this one of the most valuable LEGO clone troopers ever made. Um, definitely rare. Not, not a whole lot of people have this one. And it's my personal favorite clone trooper that I personally own. All right, and at number one, this should be a no surprise to you. Of course, I don't have the Shadow Arf Trooper if you're expecting that one. I, I don't I don't have $150 to pay for fig. So this is the next one there. Um, this one goes for $100. This is the phase two Captain Rex. And this one would not be worth that if it wasn't for Clone Wars season seven. Of course, I just haven't remade this figure. Really cool figure. This is finally when they started printing like the little armor pieces for the clones. So he has the, the print or the uh, the printed cloth there for the, the blast camera and, and the shoulder pauldron or whatever. Yeah, it's got dual pistols. He only came out with the 2013 Bark Speeder and Sidecar set. So that has something to do with how valuable this one is, but it didn't really go for as much as it did. A big reason for that is just because of Clone Wars Season 7. So if you really want this one, just hold on till LEGO makes a new one or just don't buy it for $100 because I don't personally think it's worth that unless you just really want it. The price will come down as the hype for Clone Wars starts to die off just a little bit, but yeah, currently that is the most valuable one I have. Worth over $100, which is just insane to me. He doesn't even have uh, insanely unique printing. Of course, it is still unique nonetheless, but cool figure. I really like it. It's definitely one of my favorites. All right, I think that covers all of the LEGO Clone Troopers I have. I, I get it's kind of a, a big price span there, going from like a $15 figure up to a $100 figure. So really, whatever figure you want, you, it's really subjected to what price is currently available. If you want like a Captain Rex, it's going to be really expensive, right? So yeah, go ahead and let me know what figures you have because some of them have just seemed to have struck gold like some of these figures. Figures I bought for like three, four bucks now worth like a hundred dollars. Go ahead and let me know what you have. Thank you all for watching. I greatly appreciate that. Again, go ahead and like and subscribe. Leave that comment down below. And as always, guys, have a great day.